Hi, Scorpios. I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy to each and every one of you. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. I am back, babes. All right, so we're going to get into this message. So I'm going to be reading from the Yin and Yang Oracle deck, okay? All right, so this is one of my newest deck I probably received like last month or either the end part of um, June or May, some, somewhere between it, but they're still kind of new. Um, I may have used these cards maybe one or two times with you guys, but I wanted to tap more into the Yin and Yang, Euro, Yin and Yang Oracle to kind of see what energy that the universe wants to bring you today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. Remember, this is a general reading. So if you are interested in having a personal reading with me, the link for my website is down in my description box. Also, guys, do not forget to check out my new Scorpio merch. I have coffee cups. I have hats i have sweaters you know hoodies things like that so definitely check it out the link is also in my description box okay all right so we're going to get into this energy and also don't forget to check out my candle shop as well where i do sell all 12 zodiac signs so definitely take a look around on my shop that link is also there as well okay all right so let's get into your reading scorpio spirit angels and guys i welcome you into this reading into my home also welcome in Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, Metatron, Uriel, Sariel, Raphael, Michael. Also welcome you into this reading and into my home to bring clarity and truth to my fellow Scorpios. What is the message for my Scorpios? Show me what I need to see. Let me get my slide my chair up for a minute. What is the message, spirit, angels, and guides? Oh, too many. All right. Oh, look at there. We have apology, forgiveness. So there is someone, Scorpio, that. Possibly a masculine energy or someone who's operating out of masculine energy. There's some type of an apology that someone is wanting to give to you. Someone is hoping that you can forgive them. I see this guy has his hands together as he's praying. Whoever this is, this is someone from your past that is suffering without you. You're feeling this lack mentality. Someone is missing you is what I'm getting. Wow. Tell me more. It's almost like I'm getting their suffering in silence missing you hmm tell me more about this energy spirit angels and guys and what i notice is that on both of these cars both parties i feel like this is a female here and this is a masculine they both have their head down and they in the position of prayer so someone is praying that you forgive them someone is really communicating with god hoping that you can forgive them Hoping that the universe can forgive them. They're suffering without you. Pain, hurt, and misery. Wow. Um, feeling the lack. All right. Tell me more. Spirit, angels, and gods. All right. So we have transcendence, unity. Hmm. Someone feels like you. I heard we're better together than apart. Someone could be going through a transformation. Hmm. This is giving me yin and yang energy. Someone is transmuting their energy. What do we have? We have decisions. So someone feels like they're at a crossroads right now in their life, not knowing where to go, what to do. We have the mercury energy. So messages, travel, communication. So there's some type of communication that you may receive from a particular person. This is operating, of course, the Mercury planet all talks about communication. So if you ever take a look at your birth placements, for me, my uh, Mercury placement is Sagittarius. So the way that I communicate is out of a Sagittarian energy, you know? So that's, you know, with the decision card, you know, there's like two different ways, you know? So someone has a decision to make. Hmm. Tell me more. 
spirit angels and guys yeah that's crazy remember i remember i said earlier guys that i heard to not to death do us part but see this has until debt tear us apart contracts career commitments so and this is the saturn energy oh someone is facing karma someone is going through karma i feel like someone here has a debt that needs to be paid the Saturn planet represents karma. But yes, when I heard earlier, we're better together than we are apart. But that's crazy because this is the next card that came out. Until debt tell, tell, tear us apart. You guys may have had a soul contract with this person. You made some type of commitment or this person made a commitment to you. And now they're feeling some type of way because... They're receiving, it's like a karmic contract that this person has to fulfill, is what I'm getting. Mm. Wow. Tell me more. Yeah, this is some type of karmic debt that someone owes that they have to fulfill. And while they're going through this karmic contract, they're asking for forgiveness from the Most High. But, you know, you have to fulfill this debt that you owe. All right, so we have the Jupiter planet here. Action, beginnings, courage. Mm. Wow. The Jupiter planet talks about, you know, taking action. So I'm getting more like a fire sign energy because I see the flames here. This can also be a Leo energy, Sagittarius or um, Aries. But someone is ready to take action to have a new beginning. They're gathering the strength and courage because someone is definitely in their head about you. They're in their thoughts. They're doing a lot of thinking, isolating, being to themselves. Yeah. Wow. Tell me more, spirit angels and gods for Scorpio. This person is going through a lack of energy right now. They're suffering in silence. They're dealing with karma. Thank you. All right. So while they're going through this karmic contract, we have Pluto, which of course, Scorpio, we represent Pluto energy transformation. This is the death card here. Whoever this is, they're going through a transformation, a very powerful transformation at that. Wow. They're shutting off old skin, transforming their energy. Yeah. We have guilt and sabotage here. I feel as though, because I noticed, some, you know, these people, one, two, and three, these three people have their head down. So I'm getting like someone is ashamed. Someone is ashamed of their actions, what has happened between you and them. They're begging for forgiveness. But they had to fulfill this karmic contract. Hmm. I feel like you guys were twin flames. Every time I look at this card, transcendence, unity, you guys were a twin flame. The universe puts you guys together for a reason. You guys were a unit. You were, if not twin flames, you know, you may identify as soulmates. But there was a partnership here. You guys were united together as one. The twins, twin flame journey. But I feel like one of you guys, and this could have been you, Scorpio, with the Pluto, you transformed, you healed. Mm. And now your other half, your twin, who is dealing with this karmic debt, they're going through a transformation. They may be just taking this transformation at a later time. So with guilt, sabotage, someone is, oh my gosh, like I feel like someone here is very sad because of the decisions that they made. They're guilty for the choices that they made. They know that they sabotage this relationship. And again, like I said, I see someone with their head down. Someone knows that they messed up. And then we have thoughts that came out again. Isolating. This person is just in their head a lot. Thinking. Possibly how to communicate with you. What to say. So expect communication from someone. Someone is definitely in a lot of isolating energy. Someone is in their comfort zone and their soft node. Wow. 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 Hmm. Tell me more, spirit, angels, and guides. So 
So I see Scorpio energy here, fire signs. With that communication, this is giving me Page of Cups energy as well as that apology card. Page of Cups, water signs. Tell me more, spirit, angels, and guides about this energy. It's almost like they're thinking of a way to communicate with you. Kind of like thinking what to say because they're so guilty for the decisions that they made. Tell me more about this energy, spirit, angels, and guides. Say what? Hold on one second, guys. Who, who you say that is? Jayla? She's Spanish? Sorry, guys. I had to get my daughter to the school today. She's done already? Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, my daughter, she was in summer school this year, and she um, it went to the school, and she was like, Mom, come get me. <laughs> so she's done. She had to take a summer test. Yeah. My daughter's going into her junior year. Ah, she's going to be a junior this year, guys. All right. So we have chemistry, passion. Wow. Mm. You and this person had a very, very deep chemistry, a deep bond between each other. Hmm. We have Venus here. And of course, Venus, we're, we're currently in the Venus retrograde. This talks about love offers, love, relationships. So this person is suffering and it's like they're wanting to take action to come towards you guys to bring you this love offer with this Venus card. Hmm. All right, and then we also have messages, dreams. So we have messages here twice. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is communicating with you in your sleep, in your dreams, astral projecting their feelings, their thoughts to you telepathically. Yeah, they're definitely communicating in so many different ways. But I noticed on the communication card, there's travel. So this is like astral projection. It's like this person is trying to get into your mental state, your dream state to communicate with you, their thoughts, their feelings. Mm, wow. All right, what's the final two cards? Spirit, angels, and guides. And I feel like this debt, because I noticed something, guys, when it says, until debt... D-E-B-T, tear us apart. Mm. You guys had a commitment, some type of commitment you have with this person, but now that Saturn is here, yeah, I feel like this person is serving their karma. And they, they're they just yearning for your forgiveness here. Wow. There's a lot of planets here that's involved. We have Mercury, Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus is here. What's the final two messages for Scorpio? All right, so we have, oh, look at their party external. So this is third party. They know that they chose another option. They feel guilty. They knew and they know they sabotaged this relationship by dealing with outside interfer interferences, other women, other men. They are guilty for doing that. So fate, divine intervention detours is here. The universe had to step in. Divine intervention came in between you and this person and they're keeping you guys separated. This was fated to happen the way it did. This person getting involved with third parties was fated. This, this was actually already aligned in the ethers because this person needed to pay a debt. This could be this could be a debt from a past lifetime, previous lifetime, even before you. Wow. They're guilty for their choices. Mm. Wow. Last card here. We have growth summer so of course we're in the summer season this person is going through some type of growth change transformation while they're in isolation here 
while they're in isolation. They're in their self mode. They're in their comfort zone. But what they need to be doing is thinking the most high. They need to be in gratitude energy, be in the present, be in the now. Yeah, yep, this divine masculine. They're going through a cycle. Thank you, spirit. They are completing a karmic cycle. Mm -hmm. You guys needed this distance. You needed to detach from this person. You needed to be cold and distant towards them. That was needed. The distance was needed. You guys needed to retreat, take a time out. Yep, you, the divine feminine. Yeah, you're very close off to this person. You're guarded. You're resisting because you tapped in to your third eye. You receive all the clarity that you need to get rid of this toxicity, the bond, the repeated patterns. You had to break free from that and make yourself happy to fulfill your own wishes. Yeah. And now this person is in regret. This masculine is in a regret because now they're limited to what they can have access to you. There's limitation when it comes to this divine feminine energy because this person needs to face their shadow side, the moon energy. This could be a Pisces Cancer. Someone needs to face their fears, focus on their dark side, focus on their shadow side, their secrets, their lies, because someone here was living in a facade for years, months, being someone they're not. 